Right, so this particular presentation is very much falls in the category of things I wish I had known before I embarked upon them and how I managed to encounter Y2K in 2015. So, quick introduction, my name is John Stafford. My background's a bit of a mixed bag of research in augmented reality and in uh, ubiquitous computing, but of more relevance to this, currently a software developer at RTE. Um, so, like, bit pretty much do everything from sysadmining the back ends all the way up to maintaining JavaScript and CSS on the front end and everything in between. Um, so, um, this problem emerged back last year when I was working on the RT Archives website, which I genuinely recommend, not as a company man, but it's actually a really good site full of great content, great audio-visual content going back decades into Irish history. So one of the main features of the navigation of the RT Archives site is the search. Now this was all implemented in, uh, uh, all implemented in Angular and the queries are sent to a solar database. So basically, the search is entirely handled on the front end, and as a result, it turned out pretty quick. Now, there's two features of the search. There's a standard keyword search, and then we have a date search. In this particular case, you, we are retrieving articles from in and around April 1982. So anyway, I built this, deployed it, all seemed to be going swimmingly, and then somebody came up to me and said, we're not getting any results for any year past the year 2000. So I so first thing I did was obviously opened up the JavaScript. Okay, so uh, am I parsing the date correctly from the markup? Yes, I am. Am I sending it correctly to Solar? Yeah, that's going grand. Am I getting results back from Solar? Absolutely. Yeah, fantastic. So um, that left me with one question. So it seemed very much like the old demons of the year 2000 problem were re-emerging, aka Y2K, aka the Millennium Bug. And for those of you who may be too young to remember it, um, because we are all coming along a bit, uh, this was the issue whereby so many pro computers were programmed to deal with years in two digits, and nobody knew what the hell would happen when the year 2000 would roll over and everything would go to zero. You know, there was all sorts of talks of the world ending, nuclear fallout, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> Turned out nothing happened really. So I looked into the code and I found this little nasty fecker, date.getYear. Now, it seemed intuitive enough to me at the time. I was like, okay, if I want the month, I go date.getMonth. If I want the day, I get date.getDay. But date.getYear, I didn't look up the documentation and I wish I had because if you look closely on the MDN site, there's this nice little red box. So. <laughs> The, the, the main lesson here was I really should have looked at the documentation because it goes out of its way to say why using this is a really bad idea. Because as if, you, I don't know if you can make it out there, get year only returns years accurately between 1900 and 1999, which renders it entirely useless. <laughs> <laughs> So the solution to it, which in case you, any of you didn't get it on any of those screens, is the get full year. <laughs> it's so vital, I swear to God. Like I've been programming JavaScript professionally for just over five years at that, this point. Now, I'm not a full-fledged veteran, but certainly a journeyman. And this one just caught me out in the wild. Would have helped if we had a QA as well, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> So anyway, uh, I, I did in CodePen just a quick demo to illustrate my point. I don't know if you guys can see it there. So right now we have the year 2000 in there. And as you can see, get year returns 100, whereas get full year returns 2000. So if we stick like 1982 or 1983 there, yeah, it works fine. But now let's say we go back to the 1800s or 1180. Yeah, yeah so. <laughs> This is why you should never use get year. So there is a nasty little Y2K millennium bug still hiding there in the deprecated JavaScript code. If you want to try this out, the code pen, the URL is there. It's also up on the slides, which are public. So help yourself to it. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, stupid slides. Anyway, it's just a slide saying thank you on my Twitter handle. Thank you very much. You've been a great crowd. Good night.